tonight at 6, Channel 9 investigates a local veteran's claims that the Salisbury VA never sent her COVID-19 test to the lab. Yeah, she says she waited days to get those results back, only to be told she'd have to wait even longer. Channel 9's Joe Bruno asked the VA how this could happen and learned what that woman had to go through just to get answers. Tina Quizon is a Charlotte veteran and cancer survivor. She has a compromised immune system, so when she started showing symptoms of COVID-19, the VA had her tested. But it wasn't until a week later that the VA sent her test to the lab. I'm a veteran! How does this happen? Tina Quizon doesn't know what to do. It's been 10 days since she was tested for COVID-19 by the Salisbury VA. On Tuesday, she got a call saying they never sent her test to the lab. How do you go through all the motions and then just leave my test on the shelf? She FaceTimed with me from the side of the road on her way to beg health officials at the ZMAX Dragway to give her another test. They gave her one. She's thankful for that because she doesn't have confidence given the time that has passed since the VA test. We asked the VA how this happened. A spokesperson didn't answer that question. Instead, the VA provided this email with information on their test procedures and a short statement saying, anytime a veteran or family member has a concern, we reach out to them directly, just as we have done with the veteran in this case. But can a test sit around for a week before being sent to the lab? We asked medical professionals. Dr. Ryan Shelton with Tryon Medical Partner says it is not ideal for a test to sit around longer than it has to. It's quite possible that, you know, the virus might, it might not interact enough that the test would be altered or the, you know, the, the trustworthiness of that test would be, would be less. Health officials at the DHHS gave me this document showing that for tests at their lab, specimens can be rejected if they are more than 72 hours old and not frozen at minus 70 degrees Celsius. Quizon worries if this happened to her, it may be happening to other veterans. It's just not right. On the phone, the VA told Quizon her test appears to be in good shape, but they did not respond to my questions, asking how the test was handled and how they can ensure that the test will be accurate. Back to you. And that was our Joe Bruno investigating. A new inspector general report analyzed VA medical facilities and their ability to deal with the coronavirus. So we looked specifically at the Salisbury VA Center and had a good rating overall. The report said the Salisbury VA does have enough nurses, staff and medicine at this time, but it is in need of more N95 masks.